Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Hold it right there. She's trying to activate the ship's self-destruct mechanism to destroy the evidence. Self-destruct sequence initiated. All it appears my bright young assistant has made the last move. Now, have I made things clear to you? Jessica! I'm sorry, Parker. See you guys. Hey guys, and welcome to part 12 of the Resident Evil Revelations playthrough. We're on to episode 11. Well, Revelations. <laughs> I see what they did there, and it's not fun. And holy shit, this fucking whale! Extraction is not possible at this time. That is Kirk from Resident Evil 5. Yeah. And this thing right here, folks, I can't remember, I think it's called a Malako. Malakoda? So, Malakoda. But this is the host of those parasites in that we saw in the sea. It's a giant infected whale. One of the trophies, you have to actually defeat this thing without using a rocket launcher. But here I'm just not bothering with that. I'm just getting a handprint and I just want to defeat this thing as fast as possible. The weak spots are the parasites. Yeah, just kill all these and you'll be fine. That's weird actually. You think that those black dots there are its eyes, but it's also got its claws there? Yeah. I believe on Inferno you also get less time to defeat this thing. And he throws projectiles at you. Nope. No no sniper shot for you. I think you're... Oh, Chris is getting hit. <laughs> every, yeah. And all he does, all Kirk does from now on is that uh, every time he drops a box, folks, he gives you a rocket launcher. I love how the box just spawns in out of nowhere. <laughs> like, in the game's programming, he's not actually there. The box just drops out from the sky. <laughs> Yeah, and if you're going for the Platinum, you gotta defeat this thing without using one of these. Without the rocket launcher, yeah. It's not that hard. Especially on New Game Plus. Well, unless you have- well, because you're on the time limit. Ow. Oh, that was close. If you had any less health there, you probably would die from that. Aye. When it does that, when it's clawing its mouth like that, folks, it's gonna go for a dive. Oh, just out of range. <laughs> oh, you gotta do it again. Nope, got him. I love the music that plays here. The entire game's soundtrack and is really And that's it. Good. That's phase one. Hmm. Too easy. Piece of cake. Don't, now is not the time to be cocky. But that is the end of the Queen Zenobia, folks. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to completely forget all about that pilot Chris was talking about earlier. We'll worry about her later. Uh, in fact, we'll just leave her behind. She's no, dead. she's dead. Yeah, <laughs> that's the joke. We're just gonna leave her behind. She's dead. Oh boy, it's back for more. Back for more. That'd be some shit if Redfield fell all the way after all that. Yeah. <laughs> but then there wouldn't be there wouldn't be a five or six. Yeah, no, he wouldn't be there for his panda chan. <laughs> Okay. Mmm, yummy! Ladder for lunch! <laughs> no, we have to destroy this thing because it, it'll contaminate the sea. Yeah. Now it's time for your on rails House of the Dead style final boss. <laughs> yep. All you have to do, folks, is just keep k killing the parasites until eventually he decides to stop. I love how here you're the only one actually firing. Chris doesn't actually fire at it. Why <laughs> is he fucking lazy? <laughs> No, he's just on the phone to his panda chant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to make sure my panda is in safe hands. <laughs> he's given 24 hour supply of food. <laughs> no, seriously, where where are the bullets from Cress's site? There they oh, are. Oh, there they are. Huh. See, he was firing. Looks like he finished dealing with the panda. <laughs> But I, yeah, I don't have no idea what the total number of parasites that come out with it. it seems to infinitely create them. Yeah. It's like that old, uh, what is it, the, the map about the Hydra? You cut one head off and it just comes back again. Aye. And, no, two more will regrow. That's it. Mm -hmm. And just like the bolt one, folks, the, the grenades will respawn, but you can use them to... 
the use use them for a massive area of effect. Yeah, as you saw, just there, one of the grenades regenerate. Where's it? Where's the whale's fins? If this is a whale, I don't think I don't know if it has a whale actually. It's based on a whale. That big host thing. That is a, clearly a, based on a whale. Oh, it's so hideously deformed, you can't really tell. Well, kind of like how, what was it, the Scar Leon? Yeah. Where it's based on a shark. Yeah, and like the three, the most Resident Evil 3, you had to actually look up what they were based on, because they were so hideously deformed. <laughs> Would you say this is a pre a, a precursor to what will happen in RE5? I would say so. What, with Arvin? No, with um the final area with Wesker tr and the helicopter. And a similar thing, or just completely different? I'd say that's completely different, because we're in a hangar there, actually. No, I meant when Josh comes in the helicopter and then Wesker's trying to pull it down. Oh, yeah. While he's taking a bath in hot lava. Yeah. <laughs> Funny thing, Chris and Angel are both like reunited at that point as well, and here again, in a helicopter section, they're reunited. That bar on the bottom left, folks, that tells you how much you can fire the minigun. It's just your typical one, if you fire too much, it overheats and you have to wait till it cools down. When it's in the red, but then there's a button, you can press the X button to cool it down faster. Yeah, some weapons in... You can press a certain button to get all of the heat out of the weapon, that way it wouldn't overheat on you. Right, once you start, it keep, just keep on carrying on the parasites. Once you start seeing the red smoke coming from the top of the, the whale's head, that means that it's on its last phase. Again, I don't know how. what's the exact number of parasites that come out that you have to kill. Yeah, like... <laughs> How's this thing hosting so many parasites? Better hope those that fall off the body did not contaminate the sea. <laughs> yeah, have we ever stopped to think about that? <laughs> now it's on its last phase. No, if we just get Doom Guy, he'll punch them all to death completely. There's its weak spot right there. Yeah, <laughs> no, without real life, no, you just blow yourself up at the end. <laughs> Why don't we just use this to begin with? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, just like Resident Evil 5. Get a satellite laser. Yep. Fire away. That's it now. It's doom that you press a button to get rid of the heat in your weapons. I just remember. Can you imagine doom guy in the world of Resident Evil? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope this thing does not contaminate the sea. It's clearly bleeding and stuff. How is it not, like, contaminating the water right there? It's me. What's happening? On our way out. No, Parker. No, Parker. Uh, Ooh, I didn't know him. The FBC. Well, Morgan was one step ahead of us the whole way. Yes. Yes, Christopher Lee. I hate to think this could all be a mistake. <laughs> My mistake. Yeah, O'Brien's him finally now going to come clean of what he's done. Don't leave anything out. Like all this whole Veltro revival act was all to put heat on Morgan. Yeah. So we're gonna go back to where it all began, folks. In Terragrecia. Didn't we already do that at the start of the game? Well, we're gonna go further back. And then by that, I mean when we start, when I start taking control of Parker here, I have barely any ammo. This part's a nightmare on Inferno because you yes. you have to make every shot count. I was down to my knife at the start of this part, actually, <laughs> and that's not good considering what you have to fight here. Oh yes. See, I've only got That's four bullets. That's all you have, and that will not last you on Infernal for the first enemy coming up here. Hunters! Yeah, I had to use the knife on this hunter. Well, I had to constantly keep retreating when it was trying to use this instant kill attack. It was a nightmare. Well, I've only got one bullet left on my pistol. Use it on yourself. <laughs> and your pain. <laughs> uh, what else can I do? As a life peer, I like to tend to my resignation. <laughs> You are dead. <laughs> and this incident will bring the crisis to the limelight. It could be good for 
At least in this version, with because it's uh, on the console, they added like lip pan move lip syncing animations. Yeah, Terrible, yeah. but they they added them in compared yeah. to the 3DS where they just smiled. Final Fantasy X had a really bad lip syncing problem, but that could be forgiven considering that was the first to go at voice acting for that game. Oh boy. Oh, it's Raymond Weasley. <laughs> Jesus, look how much blood he's lost. Are we sure that's Burnley House? Is there Maybe. some on the wall as well? You know. I like how they have to jump <laughs> over him just to get to me. It was funnier, one of them clearly slashed at him, at him but nothing happened. Oof. I hate hunters. Yeah, we all hate him. Oh, gold, Jessica! Oh, he's coming for me. Yeah, your AI partner can be a good distraction against them. Oh! Nope. Too bad. Oh, for God's sake. That thing should be dead by now. Yeah, die already! Yep, going for the full revenge. Bonk. Right in the, bonk in the head, and that's it. Yeah, after he took how much of your ammo? He <laughs> <laughs> was like, fuck this! Yep. And of course, the damn cat waits until we're recording to yes. rustle around again. <laughs> because that's what cats do. HQ has told you to leave. They've got, they've got breakfast rolls ready for you, Raymond. You guys remember the part earlier where you had to shoulder Parker? Now you gotta do it again with Raymond. And you can only use your handgun here. How can you reload with one hand? I don't know. Ask Nero and Don't Cry Five. Because if you lose your Devil Breakers and that, he actually has to reload the Blue Rose with one arm. You actually have to reload the Magnum in that game now. It works a bit differently than Don't Make Cry 4. <laughs> well, nothing! No, he's asking really good questions though because the... No, I mean the lockers. There's nothing in the, some of them. Well, what Raymond's asking right now is really good questions considering the terrorist Who's groups are just... Who's the BOWs? Yeah. I like it, they're just a small group. I love how you were jittering a bit for there. <laughs> oh. Of course, you know, Jessica, Jessica, who's the medic, doesn't help the man. Yeah, you could get the door, Jessica. <laughs> yeah, I believe it's out here where you get another couple hunters. Yeah, I believe so. And so I've got the pistol ready. Yeah, yep. There is. Ooh, Oof, nice. Hey. No, one, one shot, shot kill. kill. <laughs> Only it were that easy on Inferno. <laughs> now, is it possible because they could still insta kill you when you're carrying Raymond? Or I don't know. But, Oof. but the odds of them using the instant kill attack, I believe, rise the lower your health is, and with the level of difficulty on Inferno, it's almost all they'll try and use if you give them a chance to like oh, roar God's at you. Oh God's sake! Oh, he's not paying attention. Right, right in the ass. It's like, you shot me! Why did you do that? It's like Coach and Left 4 Dead 2 when you shoot him. Oh, excuse me! Excuse me! <laughs> Is there gonna be one in here? I don't... I don't know, actually. It's been a while. Mm, doesn't look like it. Probably on Infernal. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a hand grenade and a herb. The herb. And some more ammo. Why did I what? leave the ammo? <laughs> you, you fool! Uh, Jesus Christ! I'll probably go back for it. I some hope point so, because <laughs> that's that's too obvious even for you. We're on <laughs> autopilot at this point. <laughs> I mean, I know I've had my share of. That's probably what I'm doing. I'm gonna put Raymond down, then I'm gonna go back and get the ammo because it's taking too forever. Yeah, because you do have to go back that way soon. Or not. Uh, Andrew, <laughs> wrong way. No, I just realized I spotted the ammo. Oh, wait. Oh, in this room. I thought you were going to trudge all the way back to the other room there. No. <laughs> I was like, fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm pushing Jessica along and the way. She's there. not even doing anything. Open the damn door. <laughs> You're losing blood. It's too dangerous to go alone. Take, Take this. this. <laughs> 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 Do you think that's a kind of a good or bad thing where the, how cheesy the original voice acting was and yet they make it's their focus to make them better? <laughs> um, 
I like Veronica's voice acting. I think right, it's it started getting a bit better by Resident Evil 3, but then I think Veronica is where it started getting pretty bad again. Steve Burnside, anyone? <laughs> But then comes then it get improves with four, five, and six, and yeah. all that. Zero and remake were when it really started improving. Would you say for the good or for the worse? <laughs> for good. And we lost the classic uh, gel sandwich lane, but bar but there was another pretty funny lane. Any 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 later, and you would have no wait. What was it? Any longer, and you would have fit in nicely as a sandwich. It's still a stupid line, though. Towel snapping? Probably like discipline. So now we have to go and find some bandages from. Oh! oh. Ah. Yeah, that's what to do. Run blindly into battle. <laughs> Show your bravery by running into battle blindly. Show your bravery by getting your head cut off by a hunter coming out of nowhere. <laughs> hey, which is it's better than getting attacked by a little white rabbit, Monty Python, anyone? <laughs> That flies around. Yeah, and like all of the, the flee from it. It's like the, <laughs> one of the funniest moments in that movie. I haven't seen that in a long time. I need to go back and watch that. Aye. Now, some of the hunters on here will not attack you until you head into their line of sight. Yeah, the, they've got that tunnel. one far they've got, away. They've got tunnel vision. Yeah, isolate them one by one. Go, go on, Jessica. Yay. But once but the wait, AI is she's helpful. A, she's a traitor, remember? You not, don't want to cheer for her. At this point, she's not. Oof. You can also dodge backwards if you press down and X. And I didn't. I usually just tend to go for the forward one. Yeah, if you want to maintain your distance from a specific attack, you want to use the backwards dodge. Why does that count? Always <laughs> just the worst time to rustle bags. She's for smart. She's a smart cat. She wants to be on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got plenty of ammunition as a reward, and there's the bandages. Yeah. You have to key items, so it'll stay in your inventory until mm -hmm. the time is right to use it. Mm -hmm. Key items are separate from your basic inventory. There we go. Now we can go back to Raymond. Provided he has indeed. We are. <laughs> Just what I need. It's Just like, what I needed! <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if this was timed like Richard in Remake? Like, that would be annoying. Yeah. They also, they, I think in the uh, the HD remaster or remake, they gave you less time to save mm. Richard, actually. It seems like it. Like, you had to ha really haul ass. Same with uh, Becky, I believe, later on when the Hunters come into play in Chris's scenario. Mm -hmm. I won't be letting anything happen to her when I get to that. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they just telegraph the slash. It's like, okay, I'm going to slowly raise my hand and give you plenty of time to input the dodge command. Hey, I think it's better than, what was Resident it like in the original, 4. where they just blindly swipe you and, you're, and there's a rare chance that you can still get your head decapitated by that. Yeah, if your health is low enough. Yeah, that roar there on Inferno, they'll almost always try and go for the insta kill after that. Oof, that was not Don't you love it when they try to do the regular swipe and then they don't move forward? Yeah, because they're stuck on something. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Just die already. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Long hallway is long. It's just the exact same area that we went right. to before, but we're only going backwards. Back Don't you love backtracking? <laughs> You're gonna love it in Veronica. Not. I like how that hunter was just <laughs> waiting for me. It's actually just standing there. <laughs> Oof. Oh, Jesus Christ. Quite a lot of attacks in this game will just flat out floor you. Aye. Compared to R5, where most of them are Oh, I got like, both of them. Yeah. Oh, here, here comes the mum. Jessica, <laughs> turn around! Do you not see the fucking hunter? You fucking killed my babies! <laughs> just, just see the smile oh, Jessica had in her face. She's just standing there. Look, she's dead again. Mm -hmm. Blissfully unaware. Alright, let's heal up the, the Weasley. 
glad are you hurt. I reckon I'm still better looking than you. <laughs> I don't know, I think he needs a haircut. No, I was referencing Powell's part one. Ah. Yeah, you'll get the whole unit killed if you try to be Superman. And just no, hopefully not Injustice Superman. Then he will get most of them killed. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. That should ease the pain. If we're playing Max Payne too, your pain counters are actually your like healing item. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't played that series in a long time. <laughs> the elevator to the command room is right there. We could have just gone here in the first place, but no, we had to heal you up first. <laughs> right, let's go to the, to the command room. Do they pull that pesh off again with an elevator? <laughs> Hunter hiding in an elevator? Whoa! Not quite. Whoa. Oh, another one hurt kill. <laughs> How are you getting that lucky? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, I'm taking it as I go. <laughs> nope, no Hunter this time. Could you move any faster, cadet? I don't think so, considering that my leg is all fucked up. What now? Think about it. The delivery and dispatchment of these POWs. It's too professional. Yeah, the lip syncing. <laughs> yeah, look, he's, look he's changing his face. Intelligence network. It just doesn't add up. Unless somebody wanted this to happen. I love how Barker's just looking around there. Because you're uh, I don't. here to investigate this. I'm not. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe in what you're saying. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder if they're going to be preparing us for our last section here. Because there's a lot of ammunition. What do you think? There he is, folks. <laughs> there's that infamous line. There Whoa. we are. Oh, yeah, fuck like, off. How many times? Not to run out and to the open blindly. <laughs> how is that? How do I feel a quick time event that gives me no time to react? That's not even a quick time event. That's just might as well running. be a quick time event to dodge an attack. But that's just you running blindly out into the open. Oh, quiet you! If I were Resident Evil Three, you'd probably be dead now. Well, at least <laughs> I hit that one hit Jessica. Jessica, you'll be. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Showing no mercy now. Cadet, don't rock it. <laughs> what are you doing, Raymond? Don't walk into the hunters. <laughs> Your egg is injured. The leg is injured, not egg. Egg? <laughs> you will give me an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Parker eats an egg right there on the spot. Recovers like... No, he's like, health. um... What's his name? Vega from Mass Effect 3. Prin Freddy Prince Jr.'s character. And I he and he specializes in cooking eggs. <laughs> I thought you were about to say Vega from Street Fighter. No, James Vega. That's yeah. his name. I haven't played enough of Mass Effect 3 to know that. I still haven't finished 2. I really need to go back and finish You them. need to. They're, they're amazing yeah. games. Much better than what Andromeda can say. Yeah. Which is kind of a shame. Right, we've got, we've got our last bunch of hunters to deal with, folks. Yeah, you can't go into the command room until you kill these things. Typical. You can't move on until the enemies are gone. Another double punch there. Oh. But here's something, folks. Watch this. Booyah! Oh yeah! Three of them! <laughs> you just scared the shit out of the cat. <laughs> <laughs> but damn, three in a row. Yep, and I'm, that's it. I'm lucky to get that on a on, on, a, on a really good playthrough. <laughs> right, let's head into the command room. And let's see what Christopher Lee's talking about, considering it looks like he yes, plotted understand. all of this. I can hear you just fine. Speaking of playthroughs, you've yet to actually die in this run, actually. Really Don't nice jinx run. it! <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the celebration of the Queen Dido, Norman. Morgan Freeman cares about his fingernails. That's that Norm, Mo Morgan Freeman. What was that head nodding there? What, is he listening to music? I'm not done yet. No, it's probably the next stretch. Have an important purpose. The ship serves as a controlled environment. And the data on your mutation will serve a venerable purpose. So, how is it that we have all this like CCTV and all that stuff in here, but no yeah. one apparently hears us? <laughs> <laughs> so your self-absorbed ambitions is impressive. 
he's probably hijacked them or something. Yeah. Or maybe there's no cameras in this room. I will take that as a compliment. So can Raymond hear that from all yes. the way over there? Sounds like it. So we've kept video records of all of our interactions. If they go public, your life is finished. You may do as you please. Yeah, I think well, Raymond can sack. hear him, but not the mm -hmm. phone. The new mm -hmm. virus will be completely eradicated. You bastard! Yeah, he just. Yep, folks. Morgan Lansdale was the one behind the territory ship panic, and he just and stabbed his lackey in the back. Yep, he was using Veltro from the beginning to, in order to use the instant as a way to gain power. And pull out a size up for his own needs. Exactly. And you may have mentioned, you may have heard of her, folks. Queen Dido. Turns out there's a third ship. And who's this? It's Parker. <laughs> Going down with the ship, it seems. And Raymond's still here. How could you? How, how could you? We were so close. Almost is not quite good enough. Sorry. <laughs> you were right. All along. Oh, give me a, give me ten minutes, Raymond. Uh, Parker, the ship's going down. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself, Parker. Now it's my turn to save you. Come on. We're getting out of here, and I'm gonna get a new haircut. <laughs> That's the spirit connect. I'll never be as good as my hair, <laughs> says Leon, miles and miles away. <laughs> it's like Leon feels a disturbance <laughs> or something. Feels that there's a disturbance in the force. Someone thinks their hair is better than mine. <laughs> oh, good. It's not. It's... Raymond realized that Morgan was not who he seemed, so we set this trap to. Yep, that's who. That's who. So basically, basically at the beginning cutscene where Brian was on the phone, that he was no, talking to I Raymond. Got... We'll have to speed feeds up. Of the yeah. ships. All to put heat on Morgan. Exactly. But sir, couldn't you have at least told us? No. I couldn't risk it. Not with a mole inside the BSA. That mole being the fucking bitch, Jessica. Yeah, my Jessica. apologies. All that work, and both the Zenobia and the Samiramis. Yeah, I know, but I haven't given up yet. Keith and Quinn, they've left us with an ace in the hole. An ace in the hole. The data analysis they sent us, the results are in. Well, well what, what did the bank win? <laughs> Bonus points if it's a Koopa a Bank. <laughs> Again, Sadler wants his gold bars out yeah. there. <laughs> right, as we just revealed the revelation, there's a third queen ship, Ooh. the Queen Dido. We will see you guys for the finale. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. I'm gonna mess this. Waiting to see what you're editing then at the end. <laughs>